is peace. Peace. Yeah. Hey everyone, welcome back. It's me, Bakisa, to the Canva Cafe. Um, we are continuing our series, um, Canva Must, and I don't know what day we are on because between going to these people's job and the mishaps I've been having re recording, but you know, it is what it is. So I don't know what day we on, but let's get started. I'm going to show you how to make a website that looks like this using Canva and let's get started. So from the homepage, you can type in websites and it'll give you a bunch of templates you can use. If not, you can do a custom size and the template size will be 1366 by 768 pixels. And I'm going to be using some stock images from Artificially Alluring over on Etsy, so check them out. And the rest of this tutorial is going to be pretty much a look and learn because the really important part will be at the end of the video of how to um, upload your website. But I will, I guess I could still say a little bit of what I'm doing. I'm just blurring out the edges of these images and I do have a full tutorial on how to blend your edges um, of your photo. It should have been the video before this one. So I'm just adding some notations about our website so you would put your brand name here and whatever other information you want to add as you know as far as your website i'm using this little silver element just to add a little interest to write our shop now and because it's an image i'm also going to add a drop shadow to it by clicking the silver um the silver element and going to edit photos and do a drop shadow. I'm not sure if I um, showed it in this tutorial with all the editing I was doing. I probably edited it, it out. Okay. And like I said, I was trying to keep up with this canvas, but child, my job wouldn't let me be great. I've been working a lot of 16 hour shifts and I was so tired and I really wanted to give a good um, tutorial on this. So I turned the image in the background, um, the background gray so that I could see how the blurs are looking because I want to add something back here. And if the blurs aren't blurred out, um, blended out properly, it's going to look really, um, really bad when I put the video back there. You'll see what I'm talking about. So once I pull the blur all the way and it's faded to my liking, then I'm going to change the background back to black, not black, but back to white. But like I said, I change it to gray just so I can see that it's um, transitioning um, smoothly. So now I'm getting ready to add our video background because this website is going to utilize videos. So I searched snowflakes and I wanted to keep within the colors. So I uh, chose this one and I decided to put it in the back as our background. So when your um, website is up and running, the video will be playing in the background. And so now I'm going to add a title to each page. And this page, um, I believe I've got the title it home page and you'll see where this comes in handy. Um, when your website is up and running, it will um, have, it'll help you figure out, the, your customer figure out where they want to go in the navigation um, section. So I'm just doing the other pages and I believe it'll be a total of four pages. You can do as many pages as you want. I just wanted to try to keep this a little, um, a little not so timely. And of course it's not timely for you because I'm editing it out so you don't have to sit through all of this but for me <laughs> the more pages I make the longer it takes for me okay and so I'm just using those images and I took the background out and then I'm going to just try to figure out where I want them and I'm going to also duplicate the background and there's a function for the video where you can have the video video playing um throughout the time or you can have it where it just plays for the length of time that you have selected so if you put it in a continuous loop, when you go to your website, the video will continuously play. But if you don't do um, do that in the playback, once the video is finished playing, the video will just stop. And I think it looks really cute if your video plays continuously in the background uh, on your website. 
So I'm just going to position these young ladies. And I did add a shadow to both of them. And I'm just going to duplicate the text. And feel free to stop the video and slow it down or what have you so you can see what I'm doing. Because, heck, I can't even see what I'm doing <laughs> trying to do this voiceover. And I think this next page is going to be our, uh, what is it going to be? Our services. So I found these cute frames that look like snowflakes. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to duplicate them or triplicate them. And I'm just going to pop the video inside each snowflake. And then I'm going to place the snowflake behind the frame snowflake. If you can, you know, see what I'm talking about. So that way, when I place the images into the, the, the frame that's at the top, the transparency will allow you to see the video in the back. I hope that makes sense. And then when I got through, it looked a little plain. So I ended up duplicating the snowflakes again and changing it to black and putting it behind the video snowflake just so that it can add a little bit more dimension or like a shadow. And then I had this gray background and it I couldn't stand it. So I end up using the, um, what did I use? I used the gradient effect so that the gray background looked a little bit more like met metallic gray instead of that plain background. And I'm also utilizing um, Canva's new function also to make gradient shapes. So I got that square and I used the border. And I, as you can see, I add different colors so that it could look more like uh, a silver. And I also have a video on that. It may be a few videos back, but I do have a video on how to do that. And so if you can see, I'm going to try to um, blow it up. It looks more like a silver border instead of a plain gray border. And you could do that with other colors. So I'm just aligning everything. And this is what I'm talking about. I'm turning that one uh, snowflake black and I'm going to place it behind each one. And it'll act as like a little shadow or a little black border if you can see. And of course you could do it any other color if you want to use it to tie in your brand colors. And here's our last page. It's our um, subscribe page. You could do a selfie page. Tag us in your selfie page or contact us. Um, yeah, I think this is a subscribe or contact us. I don't remember. But it doesn't matter <laughs> because it's not real anyway. And you will put what you want for your page. So I'm just using this gradient blur just to blend the um, gray in and to um, smooth out the picture on the side. And of course, when I design, I put layers on top of layers to make things interesting and to make my stuff one of a kind. And I'm gonna add these little snowflake stickers um, that are actually moving and I'm going to uh, make them a little bit more transparent so they're a little bit more subtle and place them behind that little envelope. And I'm just putting out handles, you know, uh, the, to subscribe your Instagram or your, uh, what is it, email, whatever I put. And I wanted a silver thank you, but they didn't have it. So I used the duo tone to um, change it into silver. And here I am just fooling around because I don't know where I want to put it. I just, I'm just trying to help you finish making this video because it's been some days in the making. Okay. And there is um, the silver gray background that I use the gradient so they look a little bit more silver. So now we're going to click the preview button at the top to see what our website will look like. And see, these are the navigation buttons, which are also the title. And we're missing one because I only see three and we have four pages. And if you turn on and off the navigation button, you won't have them on your website. So we're going to turn them back on. So when you go to your website, you'll be able to have the buttons to click. So there they are again, because we have it turned on. Now we're going to go back to the last page and add the word subscribe so that it'll be added to our navigation bar on the website. So 
so now we're going to preview our website again and I highly recommend anytime you do any edits you go back and preview and see what it's going to look like and when you click these buttons it'll show you that it actually works my computer was lagging a little bit so but as you can see when you click all the navigation buttons it takes you where you need to go and once again those sliders on that left hand side allows the video to play continuously or not on your website so now we're just gonna check it again. So now you can see that video is gonna play continuously in the background for how many ever seconds you have it programmed to play. And you can see everything is functioning. And then you can click these other functions that allow you to see what it looks like on mobile. So now we're going to make our website live by hitting publish website. And it'll show you a little preview once again in the right hand corner of what it'll look like. And you can title your um, website. And when you do it right there in the file, whatever you title it will show up in the URL. And just as a side note, I um, have my website from GoDaddy or whoever I have it from. So I can just upload my particular domain name. But if you want to do a completely free one, you can utilize Canvas. But as you can see, it'll say Canva and whatever you're, um, you titled it in the title. And I'm just typing in that box down there because it helps your um, website to be searchable. And these other little things are self-explanatory. You could have a password, like if you're doing like uh, private things that only people would need a password to get in. Like if you have tax documents and things like that, you can enable it where they need a password. So now we're uploading our website and now um, right above it would be the link you would just copy and paste it and that would be the link you share with others to get to your website or embed it wherever you need and um, it'll show it you what the website looks fully functional and anytime you want to re-edit your website you just click um, edit design and you can make changes so now we're going to put links in our website so I'm just linking one or two things the word shop and that silver box so when people click it on the website it'll take them somewhere so I'm just showing you again in the preview because you can go to the preview function to make sure everything is working before you publish it and I'm gonna click the word and I put in my website so it would take the person to my website of course you can put it wherever you want whatever you want to link it to And so now I'm just having some fun. I'm just making some animations. So when it posts to the website, some of the elements will move. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down below. And as you can see, they're moving because you see it in the little preview down there. And isn't it so cute? And thank y'all for being so patient with me. Once again, I am trying to um, put out more videos for the holidays, but I do work. So right now I'm going to unpublish my website and it, um, all I have to do is click unpublish and it'll allow me to um, unpublish my website and make it not live anymore um, eventually. I don't know if that's what I just did or if I sharing the website again like a weirdo. I don't know why I'm doing this again, but uh, yeah, don't mind me. Uh, yeah, <laughs> but yeah, eventually after I re-show you this website portion, I could edit it out, but I don't feel like it. Okay. Cause my, um, editing app has been acting up, so I don't want to chance it. Okay. So yeah, I'll just go ahead and watch the website again. <laughs> And 
And once again, that would be the link you would share. You would copy and paste it. And right here, if you look up in the right hand side where it says edit, that's where you can click it and re-edit your design over and over and it'll repost. And all you have to do is re-share um, it again. But now I'm going to unpublish my website because it's a fictitious website and it allows you to say, yes, I want to unpublish it. Even though no one would see it anyway because they didn't have the link so they wouldn't find my website anyway. But thank you for coming to the tutorial once again. Just give me a thumbs up for showing up. Just ciao. Yeah. Love y'all. Bye. Christmas is peace, peace.